The father of a murdered Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy continues his push to protect New Mexico's lawmen and women. James McGrain is once again raising money for the officer's survival fund. News 13's Michael Hertzenberg talked with him today. I'm here at the Elks Lodge with Deputy James McGrain Jr.'s father, Jim McGrain. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for being here. What are we doing tonight? Tonight we're having our fourth annual benefit dinner. This is honor of our son, Jim, who was killed in March 2006. At a traffic stop. At a traffic stop in Tejeras, New Mexico. And Michael Astorga is accused of that crime. That is correct. Every year you guys hold these benefits, but it's for a purpose, for officer safety. Tell me about that. The benefit dinner is our biggest fundraiser that we put on every year to pay for the street officer survival training that we put on in March. We have our, our next training schedule for March 16th and 17th. It'll probably be at the convention center, and that's why we're here tonight. And you have experts come in during that survival training and teach. Tell me what they teach and how they do so. The people that come in are from Caliber Press. They're prior police officers. They go around the country do this, doing this training, and they train and they show videos where officers have been killed in the line of duty. Or injured, correct? Or injured. And, and they also want to show an officer what he should have done to avoid being killed. They try to tell the officers when they're on the street, when they're walking up to a vehicle, what to look for. So they don't find themselves in the same situation that my son was in, or even uh, Sergeant Harris from Rio uh, Sandoval County. Right. Who was killed just a short time ago. He was, that's right, he was killed on June 16th uh, up in uh, Hamas Springs. Yeah. Um, that benefit, the, the, the training is held in March. The benefit is held September 11th because it was your son's birthday. That is correct. Our, our son was born September 11th, 1967. The benefit tonight, what's going to happen? You've got silent auction. I see the table behind me. We have a many items for the silent auction. Uh, these are all donated items, or maybe somebody purchased them and gave them to us. We have a raffle that we're going to raffle off a big bear over there on the table and a few other items and we have many door prizes. Okay, and some of the raffle items I see are uh, two nights stay at Buffalo Thunder Resort, earrings, uh, pottery, paintings, things of that nature. Two nights stay at Angel Fire. Uh, you know, we got blankets, we got paintings, we got many items. Okay. Last question, how have you guys been holding up, you and your wife? Well, we've been busy. We've been working on our dinner since May, and we, we'll probably schedule next year's tonight so we know what day it's going to be. We'll probably have a breakfast maybe in the spring, probably in April, and after that we start working on the dinner again. Okay. So it doesn't end. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate Thank you, Mike. It. All right. The dinner, of course, tonight starts at 4.30 at the Elks Lodge on 2430 Center in Southeast Albuquerque, right off of Gibson and Yale. Admission for adults, $15. Again, everything starts at 430, and everyone is invited.